up guys? I'm on my way to St. George, Quebec, Quebec Open Week this week. I've played the course a handful of times, so I didn't feel it necessary to have to get there Monday and get lots of practice in there. I'd rather just practice at home and also save some money on hotels. That's gorgeous drive to St. George, cut through the Eastern Townships, cut through Sherbrooke. It's really, really beautiful. Unfortunately, my, my good camera, the battery, I charged it, but it's not charged. So I'm having to improvise, use the phone rig, Hopefully I have enough space on my phone to film a little bit of this drive. I know where we can go And it's all you need We'll kiss the sky and end Just go away with me darling We'll get real lost We'll get real lost again Just go away with me darling We'll get real lost guys back with this beautiful cinematic 24 frame per second footage the phone only shoots in 30 it's a major light down but I had a pit stop in Sherbrooke charged up the battery dumped the footage off my phone so I had space and battery life to do my GPS now I have two hours of beautiful country back roads This is the third time I've stayed in this hotel, but it's the first time that I'm staying by myself. So I got a pretty nice room, little couch action, bed, king size bed, bathroom's awesome. It's gonna be a nice four days, but this is why I came Wednesday instead of Tuesday or maybe even Monday night because staying by yourself is very expensive. But four nights, I can justify that. Speaking as much as I have now, I've gotten really, really comfortable traveling by myself and staying by myself. So. I kind of like to stay by myself when I play golf tournaments. I wish I could have gotten more of that drive between Sherbrooke and here in St. George, but the roads were, were great. They're curvy, they're beautiful. There's so many great ups and downs and vistas. But one thing that's awful about Quebec in the summertime is the roads are very bumpy. So it was, it was impossible to hold anything still. It proved that my stop in Sherbrooke was for nothing. I'm gonna take it easy here for a little bit. The Pro-Am just teed off. Probably get a little workout in, maybe a little nap, and then go to the golf course around three o'clock or so and practice through the evening. And I'll show you guys what the day before a tournament looks like when you've played the golf course a lot. Hone in on my short game and just work on some maintenance stuff with my swing and then maybe we'll play a few holes later on this evening. I have an 8-12 tee time tomorrow. So I wanna get a nice good sleep tonight. See you in a little bit. <laughs>
had a good couple hours of practice. I'm gonna go out here and play a few holes. What you've seen is basically what a Wednesday before a four round tournament looks like. You can't get too technical. You can't get too serious. You kinda gotta accept what you've brought to the dance. That's what you're gonna be playing with. I kinda am happy with how things are going. Just had to tweak my driver a little bit, my driver swing, I should say, and just work a little bit harder on my sand game. I haven't really practiced sand play in, uh, in, a, in a week or so. I upped that focus when I was practicing. But now, gonna play a few holes, get a feel for how the greens are, how the rough is. And that's basically it, call it a day, because I got an early tee time tomorrow, I wanna get well rested. That's it for my Wednesday. Played four holes, got a feeling for how the course is playing this year. The greens are a lot firmer um, this year compared to last year. Rough is about the same. Last year, this, this area was flooded, so the golf course was super, super wet and scores were really low. And I think they uh, they may have taken offense to that because they've turned two of the par fives into par fours this year. So now we're playing a par 70. So instead of five par fives and five par threes, we have three par fives. So scoring won't be as crazy low this year, which is kind of music to my ears. I like a good par 70 golf course, especially with three par fives. They're all gonna be reachable in two if I hit a good drive. So I kind of like how things are shaking up. Weather doesn't look too awesome, kind of chilly, but I'm Canadian, I can take it. But yeah, guys, I think that's it. I think I've made a pretty good little Wednesday episode for the day before a tournament. Give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, comment below what you do before a tournament, whether it's an amateur tournament, a member guest, club championship. What do you do the day before? How do you prepare? How do you set yourself up for your best golf? And if you're watching and you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss how I play this week. See you guys later.